Hey, it's Durvin here, and um, yeah, it's been a while. I've been, uh, you know, I've had my big holiday over to London, Paris, um, Paris Disneyland, or Disneyland Paris, I should say. Um, it was a fantastic trip, really cold, just really cold. Um, for those guys who live over there, I'm sure you're used to it, but it was pretty cold for me. Um, yeah, yeah, and since I've come back, I've started my new job, so um, I've been really focused on that in the last few weeks. That's why I haven't been um, you know, doing updates, just focused on that, trying to get back into a routine. Um, and I'm just starting to do that now. Um, yeah, so a little bit of painting going on, not much, just getting my eye back in. Um, so I'll, I'll show that in a minute. Uh, what else? Oh, a while I was over in London, in England, I uh, you know saw Nick, uh, British Legion. That was great, um, really good. It was really worthwhile to go and have a little trip and out and see him and you know meet someone who I interact with in the community. Um, so I encourage others if you're out and you're traveling, going to places you you know, far away and you, you interact with these people, see if you can meet up and meet them. There's so many others over there that. Um, if I had more time, I would have liked to, you know, go and visit. Um, but I really, you know, it was a family holiday, pretty full on most of the time. Um, you know, off doing stuff, uh, you know, when we were visiting our relatives as well. Um, oh, what else should I say there? Um, I, w I did go to Bovington, the tank museum. That was awesome. So if you really like your tanks, I suggest you go there. There's plenty other tank museums around in other places as well. So going and seeing a tank museum, seeing tanks up close um, is fantastic. And they just had so many there. So really enjoyed that. Um, went off and saw Stonehenge after that too in the evening, which was um, really good. Got right there. Got there right on um, sunset. Um, yeah, yeah. Really, really fantastic. Um, we actually got there too late to do the official tourist tours, but we got told, you know, if we just go down this little side, you know, down the highway and there's this dirt road and you go down there, um, we ended up standing in a paddock with some sheep looking at Stonehenge. Um, it was very cool. That was very cold. Um, yeah. It's just a big contrast. So the cold was, yeah, it was cold. And now I'm... Um, back here in Brisbane and we're, you know, 30 plus, so massive, massive difference, um, rabbiting on a bit, so, uh, maybe I'll just show you guys, um, what's down here, what I've been painting, and the official British Legion miniature, I'll have to show that off as well. So I've been painting a few, um, or a couple of the pirates up, just to get my eye back in, so here's the first guy, still a little bit more work to go on him, mainly on the weapons and his jacket. Uh, decided to do stripes to the pants. I've actually never done that before, so that's actually been really good. Uh, and here's the other guy here. He's coming along quite nicely as well. Still a little bit more to do, and he's got a stripy shirt, but uh, I'm actually really liking how that uh, shirt has come out. Um, yeah, so that's those two guys. Uh, hopefully I'll finish them up this week, and then I'll I don't know what I'll get into. I'll, I'll pick something and I'll get painting. Um, while I was visiting um, British Legion, he gave me a couple of miniatures. The first one here is um, General Patton. This is the Warlord uh, miniature. I think you get this with the new, with the version 2 rule set. So, uh, for bolt action, sorry. Um, that's pretty cool. And we, had, we were having a chat about. Um, Foundry, uh, Wargames Foundry miniatures, and I was saying that, you know, um, they're definitely on my list, and he had a few left over from his little Crusader project, so if it will focus, I've got a few of these, he gave me a couple of these, um, which are awesome actually, and they've definitely gone further up on my list to get. Um, So I'll need to get painting on them. And then also, the official British Legion miniature. Uh, it's a Jester from Wargames Foundry. Um, 
so I'll have to paint him up. Okay, um, and that, that's about it. So I've got just tons of stuff sitting here needing to be painted. So um, I'm yeah, going to start trying to get back into a regular routine and uh, just get it done. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, and once we yeah, once I know what I'm painting, I'll let you guys know. So, thanks guys. Have fun and keep hopping. Talk to you next time.